Hi everybody, John with you. Welcome back to my channel. Um, first of all, I will say if you would be so inclined, please hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. This channel, I do kind of a number of things and I'm sure everybody doesn't watch everything, but you watch the things that you're interested in, right? That's what I do with everybody else. Um, this particular video here is a burning and melting schedule for my candles for the month of whatever month we're in, March. Boy, time is just crazy. It seems like it was Christmas a couple days ago. Uh, anyway, these are the candles that I am planning on burning during the month of March. Now we are already, already into March and I have a couple of candles that I'm almost done with that I'm just not going to include here because uh, they were actually in what I thought I was going to burn last month and I'll include them in my videos. But these are the candles I am going to be burning up coming. First of all, actually a couple of melts that are very interesting. I've never seen these before, uh, but I saw them at Ross. They were $4.99 and they're from a company called Northern Lights and they're wax melts, but they come in little, rather than, um, what do you call it? Uh, clamshells, plastic clamshells, they come in glass jars and there's quite a lot in there. And like I said, they were $4.99. Um, this one is lemon honey, which does smell just like lemon and honey. Although I have to say it's more of a, more of a lemon pledge kind of a scent than like the kind of lemon you would eat. Lemon pledge and honey, but it smells good. Uh, the other one I got was uh, same thing, the wax melts in plum blossom and they're in this nice purple color. And you definitely get that very nice, hmm, little spicy floral scent. I don't know when plum blossoms bloom, but it seems very spring-like to me, the scent sort of like, you know, lilacs and hydrangeas and sort of in that category. So these will be nice. They had another scent there um, I didn't get, which was vanilla coconut, I think, but the coconut was, no, coconut musk, but it was super, super sweet coconut. Like it was really sweet coconut and I, it was too much to me. Um, I mean, if coconut and musk sounds good, but that coconut was way too sweet for me. But I don't know if you have these at your uh, Ross or Target or whatever. I don't know. I'd never seen them before, but they had several different kinds last time. Now, as far as the uh, candles go, I really, really want to, uh, this has been sitting on my shelf for a while and it is, it is begging to be burnt. Um, Pink Petal Tea Cake, this is a classic from Bath and Body Works. It was so hard to find for a while and then they brought it back, finally. And this is just a very delicious scent of pink rose petals, pound cake, vanilla glaze. And I would say that's about right. I mean, I do get the rose. I do get a bit of bakery, a little bit of vanilla. I mean, I think that's a pretty accurate description for it. And it doesn't smell, on cold sniff, it doesn't smell super strong. So we'll see how it does. Uh, speaking of strong though, I've got another small colonial candle here that I'm planning on burning this month. I've had both large and small colonial jars. I love the large ones. They're really pretty. Uh, but it seems with the small ones that I've gotten later that the throw on the small ones, for whatever reason, seems to be a lot stronger than the throw on the big ones. I don't know if you've had that experience too. I don't know why that would be be really well I mean they're two wick and these are two wick so I guess the idea is the wax is probably hotter in this than it is in the, the larger one with two wicks but still it seems a bit of a mystery although actually now that I think about it that way it doesn't seem like that much of a mystery does it that's probably why the wax is hotter um, 4 dollars at Ross this one smells so good mmm this is colonial candle in the scent mulberry beautiful wax there, burgundy, purplish wax, beautiful. Mm. And definitely that nice berry scent. 
earthy berry, sweet, not tart. Mm, this is nice. And hopefully it throws really great. Actually, it's not unlike grape, really, now that I think about it. It's sort of like grape, but it's like a classier grape, you know? It's not like a grape soda or grape pop. It's like the actual grape or the mulberry. I don't know. I live in Hawaii. I'm sorry. So I don't even know what a mulberry really is. I don't know. It's like a blueberry, like a blackberry or something. Well, it looks like kind of like a blackberry or raspberry. Yeah. I mean, I did have blackberry pie growing up in Pennsylvania. My grandmother used to make that. I think it'll be good. Okay, then I have something from a brand. I don't know about this. It's the first time I've had something from them. This was from Ross. Uh, for the, the company is Pure Sense, and it's Island Kiwi. Pretty packaging. This was $6.99. Uh, there are not scent notes on it, but it's a soy candle, two wick. I am familiar with kiwi. It does smell like kiwi. And there's other things in there too, although it is predominantly kiwi. Not a sharp kiwi, kind of a little bit sweeter, like a sugared kiwi. <laughs> Or uh, I have had, have you ever had um, the fruits that are, um, I guess they're sort of dried, but not completely dried, but sugared? Um, it smells like a kiwi, I would imagine a sugared kiwi would be like. There might be a little floral in this. Something very, very light, very little, but mostly kiwi. I don't know. A new brand for me. We'll see how it does. Now then, finally, I have selected a very large, uh, one of the large jars from American Home by Yankee Candle, uh, which I picked up at Ross for $7.99. Quite a good price on that. This is the uh, scent Fresh Citrus. And this large apothecary jar, one wick with a yellow-ish wax, light yellowish wax. Well, I guess you could say it's light orange, really. Super light. This smells fairly strong. I mean, we'll see. It's uh, definitely citrusy. Like a, it's not a, well, they show on the cover here, oranges and lemons and limes. And I would say that's probably good because it is sort of a generic citrus scent. It doesn't smell particularly like one kind of a citrus fruit but almost like a, like a breakfast juice that had different, uh, different citruses in it. And it's nice. And like I said, it's fairly strong. I don't smell anything else in there other than the citrus scents. Let me just actually stick my nose in it. So we'll see about this one. I don't know, $7.99, that was a pretty good deal. So those are the candles that I have picked out for this month, in addition to the two that are just finishing up uh, this evening. So if you've had any of these candles, uh, let me know what you think of them. And if you uh, are, oh, I should say also, if you're interested uh, in music, I'm a music lover. Are you a music lover? I have two radio stations online you can check out if you're interested. They're free to listen to. I don't make any money off of it. I just, it's, it's, it's a hobby. Uh, one is called Hawaiian Hi-Fi, which is uh, selections from my vinyl collection. I have 2,500 Hawaiian and Hawaiian-inspired recordings. And then I have a station called Moody Mood Music, which is a salute to the supermarket, shopping mall, elevator, easy listening, old school kind of music, uh, also all vinyl. And both of those stations are on live365.com and they will be um, linked below. So uh, let me know what you're burning this month, what you've picked out. And let's, ha let's make March a great candle burning month because it's kind of that, for most of you, I think the winter is 
in March kind of starting to go, but I don't know. The weather's been so weird. Who knows what's going to happen? So whatever. And, and it's kind of funny reading some uh, candle pages, Facebook pages that I belong to. People are, and, and watching other people's uh, burning videos too. I mean, people are all over the map, you know. I mean, some people are like still doing pumpkin scents and wintry things. And some people are like do all into their, their uh, spring scents, even though they still have snow on the ground and whatever. So people are doing different things. Uh, I'm, as you can see from this, I'm in a spring-esque kind of mood, I would say. Citrusy, spring-esque, whatever that is. Have a good week, and we'll see you in the next video.